having somebody who can keep their head so calculated in those high pressure situations is a perfect combination. Alrighty, here we go. Game one. Yes? No? Yeah, no, 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 no. Definitely, definitely a button check. check. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, th I thought, no, I thought they were just feeling on the controller because it, yeah, yeah. it phased out real quick, but no. Nah, quick little it's, button check. It's always fun to like look at neutral and see how fast you can figure out if it is a button check because at first like they're just throwing out back airs. Maybe that is neutral. That, that is neutral. Yeah. <laughs> True. You play some Palatina, you know damn well that's neutral. Yeah. But uh, no. Nah. These guys got to keep their hands warm up here. Especially considering what's at stake at this stage of the the bracket. Yeah, I mean, where things get absolutely terrifying if you lose. Yeah, if take a look at this bracket, the winner of this will be going on to play Wadi. And that will be winner's quarters. Yeah, that was, that's going to be a qualifier to winner's top eight. So these guys, very close. Let's see Wadi beating out Ned, who had just uh, beat out Nairo the round before. Oh, man. Yeah, nothing but high octane matches left in this tournament. I mean, even just on the other stream, you have Sam Sora going against Goblin, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, that is Goblin. So definitely make sure you guys you are tuning into both streams at the same time. Yeah, you don't want to miss you, any you of You got multi Smash Twitch for a damn reason. Yeah, I, I used to think with Ultimate Events, I'd be like, no, I'll just watch one stream, and then later I'll watch the other stream. You know, when I have time this weekend. No. And what I realized is like, there's always another Ultimate Major happening. Like you never yeah. have time to go back and watch those vods. You're not going back unless you're doing absolutely nothing at work, or you got some free time on your hands. Yeah, yeah. But here we go, starting properly, Town and City. Light opening up with just some quick lasers, which I really respect given the fact that you're fighting against a Wario main. If you can just establish, like, given the slightest percent lead, just so that you can have that to lean back on in case you ever want to stop approaching. But Light managing to find his opening, getting some extra damage here. Uh-oh. Gonna get clapped up a little bit, but I, I like the pace at which Light is opening up. Like, he opted for the lasers, and then he opted to just kind of dance around Glutiny to find his opening. But for good reason, because he got touched once, and he's sitting at such a high percent. Yeah. Looking at Light, trying to line up that mix-up between empty hopping or just looking for late hit and air. Yeah, Luto trying to line up that town air all the way on the ledge at the, at the very tip, but he ended up getting the phantom footstool. Axel just barely stuffing out the back air attempt by Light. And there we go, the down air is going to be exactly what Gluttony needs. Such a great edge guard tool for Wario. I mean, especially for recoveries like a Fox. Anything that is very linear as it goes up. You know, that town air is kind of disjointed. So it ends up just catching a lot. Oh, trying to catch the second place. Looney gets away. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Getting clipped with the very last hit of that neutral air. Didn't do a lot of percent, but it's racking up exactly what Gluten needs. And that air dodge drifting him straight to the ledge. Yeah, I like that. Just having such a hard time getting that last little bit of kill, right? The uh, I was not just not lining up Looney, just slipping away over and over. That time the Firefox actually beating the down air. There we go. I was not had a shield of only being the ticket for light. But it's a scary sign to see that like his confirms aren't quite working on Gluten. Yeah, well, I mean, but the down air is actually very suspect for a lot of the Fox mains. Like, they, they want to land that, that lasting uh, neutral air instead. The down air is very inconsistent. Yeah, Blue is actually going really high off of the first initial, initial hits of the forward air. Because, you know, multi hits having that weird knockback, you know, properties. Yeah, yeah. This is it, another big opening for Blue Gosh, Light banking it all on his anti-air attempt there. Still getting poked out by Gloony before it could come out. There go a couple of down tests. Forward air allowing him to cross up on the shield. And these falling up airs just keeping Light in the air. Right, and that's uh, the big thing for Gloony is the fact that he has that up tilt to lean on really helps him against Light's air game because he can't rely on the falling hitboxes. And he just has those do it. big invincible hands. Just do it, G-Pick. Yeah, just do it. That down tilt didn't even connect, but he felt so oh, confident yeah. in the dash attack. <laughs> it's it kind of makes sense in the sense that, like, you whiff the down tilt because the opponent is retreating, and then the dash attack can still catch somebody who is still retreating if they don't just throw up their shield or jump out of the way. As they're retreating, and I think it's more so of the fact that Wilson just recognized that Light's going to come at him. And when you start your dash, you can't shield or do anything immediately out of it. Right. You're stuck in those dash frames for a bit. Yep. It's kind of beautiful when that all lines up where, like, 
The fact that it didn't combo didn't matter because it just still covered the option that they were most likely to do for you whiffing. It's like, I just know you're going to hit a button. Yeah. I'm just going to keep going. It's like a block string. So just a tad bit. Yeah. A tad bit. We're going to go on to FD for game two. Love the music selection coming out from light. Very aggressive defensive option there to go ahead and get back onto the stage. Does not want to play this ledge game with Glow to me. Okay. I love that. The moment that uh, Light sees that double jump, that's when he was ready to commit to go really high to get to Blue Team. There we go. Those, those up tilts doing a fantastic job shielding Blue Team's head against that falling Nair. The use of Nair is so impressive, impressive to me from Blue Team. Just because he's getting those up tilts and he just wants to get a little bit of horizontal knockback on it. Not opting to go for that up air and allowing. Um, Light to come down with a possible neutral air. So what we just saw earlier, that's the second time we've seen like Light line up, say, like a back air, and then try to keep the pressure going with an illusion, and that illusion just breaks through the bike that Gluoni tries to do to reestablish his own pressure. Kind of an interesting choice. It seems to be something that uh, Light has picked up specifically for the matchup. Oh! Smash four, baby! That is a That works just fine for Light. <laughs> Light. You don't get the footstool, but you still get. Yeah, he don't need yeah. the footstool. You ain't got no jump. Where, where are you going, Wario? <laughs> just like that, Light has himself. A oh full my goodness, where, where's Fox going? <laughs> that that slight bit of air drift at the very end to make it look like he wanted to land an air in his head, and he got out of the way before the up tilt actually hit him. Some very tricky stuff. Yep, but Light still stuck here on this ledge. Can he get off of it? He finally does land in that neutral air into the rapid jab. Like still looking to close this gap, even though he's the one with the lead. We see him making most of the movement towards Blutiny. Oh, he's still gonna make it. All right. <laughs> no way. I guess that worked. For it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right. I guess that's a trade. <laughs> that was pretty, it, it was good at first. Yeah. And then, and it then he had to brilliant. recover. <laughs> yeah. He, he covered the two frame. Oh, um, chief pick. Oh wow. Or Wario is the splashing. Yeah, this is, a, this is a scary place to be. This is definitely what Glutiny wants. Already looking for the falling upper and the up tilt to try to get the confirm into walk. Light looking for the anti air there. And getting the back hit of up smash. So unfortunate. Oh, wait. <gasps> that was such a good jump, actually. Because that was, that was essentially like a wake up super coming from Glutiny, trying to cover whatever pressure Light was going to put on that uh, wake up. And now he doesn't have to worry about Wasp, which is nice, but he can still die to like dash attack or doesn't have to worry about it. Oh, he's, yeah. Glutiny himself gonna die to Nair, up smash the tried and true for Fox main and Light, evening up this set 1-1. Yeah, going over to his backpack to get something. Headphones? Water? Oh, no, 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 it's, it's the towel. It's the ah, towel. okay, yeah. Actually, a that, no, that, that's respectable, man. Yeah. You know what, I, I feel that. Your hands get quite wet. You do not want some, you know, some moist hands as you're trying to hold on to your controller. You start slipping and sliding. Especially given how stressful this match can oh, be. Easy. Oh, easy. goodness. Easy. Like, the fact, like, we saw Gluoni get gimped at, like, 30 or 40%, and it was still last hit. Just managing that whole situation of, uh, Oh, we, we got the power up from, like, you know, rolling up the sleeves now. Ah, okay, okay, here we go. This is when you know he means business. It's always surprising that he doesn't start sets with his sleeves rolled up, you know? He no, always no, no, no. does no, no, no. You, you, you need You need the power of G-Pig. You can't start at full power. Mm -hmm. Look at Goku. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, it's, it's just bad script writing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, immediately up throw into the up air. Put 26 for Glutiny onto light. And okay. He's going to get a complete answer there. Light was looking for some type of defensive option from Gluttony, but Gluttony is not giving him anything. Yeah. I mean, part, half of Gluttony's defense has just been these up tilts to catch Light out of the sky. Ooh. Yeah, just stealing Gluttony off his bike. Yeah, grabbed him right out of it. The most impressive thing that I'm seeing here in the early parts of this game is just the ledge traveling from Gluttony. He's not really overextending on this ledge. When he doesn't land his f or doesn't land that down air, he's going into the range where Light has to be afraid of fight or be afraid of yet another aerial coming out to him. Mm -hmm. slowly getting control of the stage by tossing the bike ever forward into the corner. Light was just returning fire. 
Jackson playing hot potato with a bike right now. Kind of like that light double jumping. He's, I think he's trying to bait out that up tilt by Gluttony so he can try to whiff punish it right afterwards. But I don't think Gluttony's really biting yet. Oh, there we go. A beautiful parry coming out from light, recognizing Gluttony trying to land on the opposite side. Okay, 23 off of a couple forward airs. Oh my goodness, Gluttony gonna take so much damage now after getting caught. Oh, it does get rid of bite. All right. Yeah, because it's the active hitbox during the throw. Light in a position to maybe take a second stock as well. Wow. Almost killing there. That was a perfect reaction by Light. Recognizing that that forward tilt just barely whips. Knowing that he could get his own at smash that, that was out a punish. perfect tech yeah. that he needed. And an attack in place at that too. Yeah. Recognizing if he did a roll either out or in, he wouldn't have been able to get the punish that he got. Also, it's just easier to cover the rolls on reaction than the tech. Josh should I get able to clean up that stock. Lushni getting his first stock here in game three, but you know what? Light needs to be careful. You don't want to give Lushni another one, especially with the waft online now. Right, exactly. We see that glowing brown. Sixty-five, dangerous spot for Light now. But oh, oh. trying to go in and call out that landing. Just deflecting the pressure, getting the free damage that Gloony can get. It looks like he's gonna try to just take the stock, yeah, without using the WAP. Now he can rely on it for the final blow. Just keep poking at the toes. The first down tilt don't work him. He's just gonna do it again. Nice empty jump. Yep, and a, a great up throw. He's just trying to force Glutzli to land down correctly. And just like that, Glutzli not picking the correct option and like catching with the up air. I mean, it's such a scary place, right? At the end of the day, you're just rolling the dice and hoping you, you made the right call, especially when you have to just deal with Fox who moves so fast on the ground and can reach you so high way faster than you can possibly react It's been like 20 years. You do never want to be above Fox. Yeah. Besides, you know, I, I can accept that. You know, it's a little scary, but you know, it's not its not as bad as being uh, directly above him. An absolute nightmare. And we, we saw Gloony trying to mix it up a little bit with the bike as well uh, on his way down. But Light able to catch it out. And it was like so much just that up throw, like you pointed out, right? At the end of the day, if your juggle game is good enough, an up throw kind of becomes a kill throw. Alrighty. Light with a 2 1 lead against Lutini now, running into town and city yet again. And already Light opening up as he has been this whole set with the lasers, being a little patient and you know, allowing that first hit to come to him before he starts exploding. Mm -hmm. oh, that town is barely off the mark. But it was great recognition from Light at that anyway. He saw that the Nutri was going to be coming out, and uh, because he ended up whipping, <laughs> he took so much damage. <laughs> Gloomy, I think, trying to destroy his bike. Oh. Not really gonna have the time, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is right. He's like, all right, you know, light, light, scared. I'm just gonna go back to the bike. I'm, I'm not messing with this whatsoever. Oh, that's that sucks. <laughs> that, that's actually tragic to have you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he was actually trying to destroy it, or was he really just having fun? I think he's just having fun. I think he's just dribbling <laughs> with a bike. Who needs a basketball? <laughs> Vox is just use a whole motorcycle. <laughs> oh man, our forward so it's not gonna find the mark. And if he shoot it immediately, but there we have it yet again. The shoulder ram out from Glotini. He's dashing like he's getting so much mileage from them. Mm -hmm. oh, I love the weight. Right there, Light recognizing the uh, the falling chomp, just waiting to punish it instead. That collapse, put him up. I mean, no, he ended up using the neutral air instead. Although I, although I understand that now from Blue Flaming, the last up B out of shield attempt that he tried to do, Light ends up falling out. I don't think he wants to kind of replicate, replicate what just happened. Especially given that he's at that death percent again, so if Light falls out, that means his next stock is gone too. That's the exact punish he wants, yep. Being able to block just in time before the up smash. That's kind of the risk of making sure your confirms are all airtight. Uh oh. Oh, this is, this is not where you want to be. <laughs> Grabbing the bike one more time as well. Looking for the falling up air. Up tilt, up air. Neutral air. Light right back onto this ledge. 
Oh, still active G-Pick. Wow. It, it looked like the neutral air was done. It was not. Light was not expecting it. Gluttony saw it. He was like, all right, sweet. Thank you. Just like that, Gluttony evens it up to game five. Mm -hmm. All right, even, even with Light just exploding for the first two stocks, he, he has so much momentum on his side. But that is the power of Wario. Mm -hmm. When he possesses that waft, and his kit really just allows him to just snowball when he starts getting those hits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to get uh, Kalos now as the final stage. Light's counter pick. Kind of similar to FD, which was another uh, stage that he ended up winning on. Uh, almost no platforms except for but the ledge But it does area. give him access to Firefox to those platforms yes. right above the ledge. So right. he can mix up his recovery. Yeah, and we do have also the walls along the, the stage to be able to tech a little bit better as well. You know, he, he tech, and then he can also mix up the angles that he does with his Firefox. He can ride the stage a lot more and try to get away from those downer attempts that Glutonian has been doing quite a bit. Right, right. I think ultimately it's also just Having that wide open space to focus on the juggle uh, can ultimately help Light a lot. That's how he's been finding a lot of these up airs. The main trick is to make sure that he mitigates his own damage from the juggle. So when we see him just trying to drift away from those up airs, trying to be very careful around those uh, the up tilts as well that Gluttony consistently manages to deflect these falling nares with. The up tilt, go ahead and scoop him up, catch him, dash stack, leading into the forward air. The upper going through the bike, but it's not going to be enough to take that stock. There goes the parry, but just getting a single up tilt. Beautiful. Check chasing him all over to get the up smash as well. That was such a nice bait for the roll in because it looked like he was committing to a jump right over Galuni's head, but he stopped his drift halfway through, doubled back, and punished with the up smash. Going to be trying to keep up this ledge pressure against Light. He fights his way right back on stage, though. Oh, just a single jab coming up from Glossini. Not sure if he's looking for a type of mix-up or if he thought the second one ended up coming out. Nonetheless, he's going to go ahead and get punished light with a head of steam right now. Mm -hmm. Hollow's big stage. This time around, he's actually able to live past the dash attacks that Glossini has been getting him with throughout this set. Mm -hmm. As the lead continues, this is exactly the positioning Light needs if he wants to be able to take out the set. You have to keep in mind, there is always that, that's going to be the waft in about a minute, right, Miho? And that's the thing is you need to have that buffer to be able to take that waft in, in the worst scenario. Cool, I think he's actually going to do that. Oh, he does. The chomp's going to get him. And Gluten's just healing just a, just a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Light looking to try to anti-air with his uh, up tilt just a little bit. But... Otherwise, just trying to stay a little bit around Gluttony's hitboxes. Yep, and I think Gluttony is going to go ahead and stick to the game plan, see how far he can take this stock without the walk, and no, just going to spend it here instead. It doesn't get the stock for it. No, it's still it ends up going in the opposite direction, so Light in a great position now. Yeah. Wow, once again, just chasing down and throwing out that dash attack completely raw. Kind of he's, a, he's no man's land. You missed that tech. Where are you going to go? Yeah, fair enough. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Platform extension as well. Oh, gets the chase once again. The up smash light looking so consistent in his last game. Just right. needs to find one more spot. But here it is. Gluttony coming down with that invincibility. Light just disengaging and Gluttony not even trying to force anything with it. And more importantly, Gluttony... Waiting it out on the Angel platform, he allowed that quarter half swap to try to come up and take that stock there, but, you know, Light able to get away from it. Oh, my oh. God! I felt the dash attack. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling it, too, but Gloony wanting to wait for that animation to finish, not quite finding it. Okay, up smash for up smash. That is... That was really scary. I, I, I actually thought that Gloony was going to be able to punish him for that yeah. on hit. No! <laughs> is he dead? Yep. <gasps> Dying right there to the neutral get up uh, punish with the bite. Light new too. He yeah. just saw his face. It's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's so BM. Wario's just laughing at you at the end of it too. <laughs> like, yeah, I know, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Chom chomping him a little bit. Go ahead. You know, I got a good dentist. Of all the ways to die, yeah. That, that is a, quite a smelly one to go out with. <laughs> no, it is what it is. Yeah. It is. What it is, but great stuff there coming up from Glistony, taking it to the game five, and you know, taking it over Light. Yeah. Just, I mean, Ooh. like, Light was really picking up his uh, tech punishes at the very end there. Mm -hmm. Looks very good. But then, uh, 
just slowly that damage kind of got tacked on with the juggles and things got out of control, especially at the very end there. Like, it got to the point where we got scared for light for landing hits, because like, what if he's in too much lag and he dies to the, to the counter hit right afterwards? But it is what it is, like you said. Oh, what's, what do you Ooh, look very 